All right, so I got Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 post launch overview. Let's go to the video. Let's go, man. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Greetings, Space Marines. On behalf of everyone at Saber Interactive and Focus Entertainment, we want to extend a massive thank you to each and every one of you. Wait, is this Lord Caviar? Not Lord Calgar, Lord Caviar. We released Space Marine 2, and it's been a thrill to see millions of you diving into the game. Okay. Your dedication has been incredible. Go forth in the name of the Emperor. Oh, but the snap. fight is far from over. The enemies of humanity it's like are an update? and they're coming back stronger. Oh, it's like a, it's an update. The war is about to escalate. Yeah, this has to be an update. Get ready, because we're bringing you a whole year of new content, entirely free. We're starting Wait, with a free? brand new PVE operation. Gather your three-player Yo. squad and deploy back on Kadaku to face the biggest and most terrifying Tyranid yet. The Hierophant Biotitan. Oh, no, this is... No. <laughs> no matter how many vermin they send, I will cut Yo, them yo. Hey. <laughs> Looking for an even tougher challenge? Hey, I'm going to talk after this Gear is over. For the upcoming I'm, I'm edition <laughs> of Lethal Difficulty. Brace yourself. Brand... Wait, 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 wait. You know, I'm going to say it now. Bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest, bro. Man, I don't know why, bro. Listen, I know the Hell Diver fans are sick right now. I know they're like, wait a minute, yo. I know, I, bro. I know the Hell Diver fans are like, wait a minute. They're like, wait a minute, bro. Hold up, I could have sworn. What did they said, hold up. Hmm, I could have sworn I saw that in my game. Now, obviously. It's not the same thing as like the as like as like the creatures in Helldivers, but I promise you, bro. This right here, give me one second, bro. This looks like these like little uh, these nasty little creatures, bro. Looks, bro. I promise you. I don't know why, but like the first glance, bro. I thought this was Helldivers for a second, uh, but obviously, let's be honest, bro. Warhammer 40k, of, of course, undefeated. Let's be honest. Them down. Looking Listen, for an even tougher I got straight Helldiver vibes Hero, from that big tyrant right there, bro. Difficulty. Lethal. A brand new difficulty setting for the operations mode it. designed to test your skills against the most brutal Xenos and heretics. Uh -oh. And to help you in battle, the armory will provide a new weapon, the Neo Volkite pistol. Can we um can we use a dr uh, uh, a, dr a dreadnought? We end this now. In addition to all this free content. 2024 will bring season pass owners a full suite of cosmetic fineries from a fan favorite space marine chapter. Bro, you're giving all this for free. That's Dark crazy. Angels. You'll be granted exclusive new weapon skins. For your Yo, put the salamanders in here. Put, put the salamanders in here. Sword. Where's the salamanders at? The Emperor provides. A champion pack for the Bulwark class with a full body armor skin. A unique shield and loads of cosmetic options to stand out on the battlefield and celebrate the Dark Angel's successor chapters. The moment of reckoning is upon us. And this oh, is just snap. the beginning. Future seasons will feature new operations, a host of additions for PvP with a new game mode and new arenas. New Tyranid and Thousand Suns enemies, weapons, a blood pumping horde mode, and other new Space Marine chapter cosmetics for gold and ultra edition owners. Stay oh, tuned snap. for more updates oh. coming soon. This war has just begun. Oh. They're giving all this out for free, by the way. For the free 99. Forgive us. Wow, man. We got some Space Marine 2 updates. Wow. Yeah. Bro, what's just so crazy is, bro, this is how you know how prepared this was. First of all, bro, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 was an absolute success in my book. Um, definitely candidate for Game of the Year. Um, listen, we're not, you know what? We're not going to talk about Game of the Year until next month because next month, that's where uh, like voting starts and stuff like that. But, um, bro, let me just say this, man. Uh, Warhammer 40k uh, Space Marine 2, bro. Thank God that I got into this series last year. Um, now, listen, again, I'm still a, I'm a new booty. I'm a newbie. I don't really know too many things about 
uh, Warhammer 40k like that. Yes, we did watch like a few lore videos, and I know some things about the uh, like about the franchise, but bro, looking on like how massive this franchise is, bro, it's not even just like yes and yes. I do know like some of uh, fractions and stuff like that. I do know like uh, some of the sons' name. Like I, I know who Horus is. I know, um, bro, the uh, the emperor, bro, the emperor, bro. He was like, bro, he was the goat, bro. He he was like, he was a different kind of breed. He was like the Tom Brady of everything. Like he was just the goat. Um, see, so yeah, I, I know of him. Obviously, I know about, uh, I know about the Space Marines, the Salamanders. I know about them. I heard they're like really nice people. So I can't lie to you. They're they're my favorite fraction. I can't lie to you. Um, and then like there's some other fractions where they just like pain and they destroyed everybody in their world and stuff like that. It's just crazy. So, um, other than that, man, bro, the fact that they're actually giving out all this stuff for the freezy is crazy, bro. They're giving us all this out for the free, bro. That is crazy, bro. You know what? That's real though. That's real love, bro. To give all this out, let, let, let's go back real quick. To give all this about, <laughs> and, hey, before listen, before I even talk about like all all the free uh, stuff, bro, I can't lie to you, bro. As soon as I saw this big tyrant right here, bro, I started dying because I instantly got hell diver vibes from this. Um, I mean, and if you really like put the game side by side, you can kind of see like the similarities, um, in like in like the uh, enemies and stuff like that. You can kind of see like the similarities or whatever. Obviously, in hell divers, you're fighting like just oversized uh, termites and beetles and stuff. But in this game, um, you're fighting these nasty little creatures that can hit back. And, you know, they got all types of swords as well. So, if I'm being honest with you, it is different. But I can't lie to you, bro. First glance, when I saw that big, nasty creature, I was like, bro, this, bro, this looks just like Helldivers. Uh, but let's be honest, bro. Bro, Warhammer 40k absolutely takes a dump on Helldivers. But other than that, man, make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And, um, oh, the free stuff. Let me, let me not end the video yet. Bro, let's talk about all the free stuff we're getting. Bro, they got four new updates for the next whole year. I like that. I kind of like that. Now, some games can't do that. So, games like Call of Duty, games like Fortnite, a lot of Battle Royale games, I, they, can, they can never do that. Um, th and the reason I say that is because, like, for Warhammer, it's different because Warhammer is a story-based game, but also has multiplayer as well, like, with the multiplayer and co-op and stuff with it. For Warhammer, they can legit just put their plan on the table and just dip out for a year. They can do that. Just like now. They can they can put their plan on the table like, hey guys, this is the next four updates. We'll give you guys all this stuff for free or whatever. Da -da 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 -da, and then we're just gonna leave for about a year. They can do they can do that. And then the reason I think they can do that is because they have such like a loyal fan base, bro. And you can tell the people that buy this game, bro, they are ride or die for this game bro i promise you if bro if, if the people who made warhammer i think it's like i think the name is like saber something uh like saber studios or whatever if i listen don't kill me to all the warhammer fans all right don't slaughter me but um bro they're so loyal they're very loyal bro um i'll probably say one of the most loyal fan bases in the gaming industry bro like bro they ride out for their games uh for the books for um the actual like figures like the um i don't want to say action figures but like they're actual figures that people buy and like paint and stuff like that bro like the bro the people of warhammer like the fans of warhammer bro are just die hard like they're like justin bieber level loyal bro it's crazy um so like they're able to just like the love that they have for the fans is real because they're able to just give you guys four updates for the next for the next year and just dip out and just you know make another game or you know do whatever uh, or just chill out. I don't know. But other than that, man, um, games like Call of Duty, games like Fortnite, they can never do that because they are... Okay, games like Fortnite. Let's say Fortnite. Because Call of Duty, you know, sometimes they're a little finicky with the updates. Uh, Fortnite, their updates are automatically fired every single time. The reason being is they're always adapting to what's happening right now in the world. Um, the, 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 like the newest, most popular thing. Um, and they always adapt to that. Um, for example, like the, um, I don't know. Um, oh, the Dr. Doom thing. Whenever Dr. Doom got announced, uh, whenever um, um, Robert Downey Jr. got announced for uh, Dr. Doom, whatever, and that was a really big thing, Fortnite capitalized off of that and dropped the update, um, like, I think, like, was it like two weeks after whatever? And Dr. Doom had, like, you know, its own thing, you know, had, like, its own update or whatever. Like, bro, they can definitely, like, their marketing team is genius, bro. Albert Einstein-level genius, bro. It's crazy. So, um, Fortnite, they can never just, like, drop eight updates. 
like, hey guys, um, after this we're doing this, after this we're doing this, after this we're doing that. They can never do that because like they're on the move. They're always on the move, which makes them really successful because like you know they're they're really adapted to the world that we're actually, that we're all in and stuff like that. So they're really adapted. Fortnite can never do that, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm just saying that's not like their way of doing everything. Like they're a live service game, so they have to keep adapting, keep going, keep adapting, keep adding new stuff, taking some stuff out, um, adding new um uh, uh like festivals and adding new live events and stuff like that that that's adapting to the new thing that's that's i mean that's how you you know stay on top but if you have a um but if you're a company like warhammer or if you're a company like um not a company like warhammer but if you're a franchise like warhammer if you're a franchise like grand theft auto bro you can take years you can take any and, and i'm not putting down fortnite or whatever I, like it's two different things you have to understand that at the end of the day you know um, it's kind of like, um, like they're both good products, but like, it's just two ways of their success. You know, Fortnite is more of a adaptive live on the go thing while Warhammer, they can take the next five years and not drop anything and drop a Warhammer game and it's getting incredible numbers. Same thing with Rockstar, bro. We haven't had a new GTA game in what, 10, 11 years and they're dropping a new game next year, hopefully. And obviously, bro, it's going to get billions of dollars in like two days. It's going to be crazy. So at the end of the day, everybody has their own, you know, path to success and stuff like that. It's just Warhammer, bro. The face, the fan base of Warhammer is absolutely unreal. It's crazy. And, um, you know, I'm glad to be a part of it. Even though I'm a new booty, even though I'm a new member, a new fan or whatever, don't kill me. Uh, just know that I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, join Warhammer, like, franchise. Because, bro, this game is absolutely hard, bro. I'm learning more and more and more every single day about um, the lore and stuff like that. So, listen, bear with me. You know, listen, if I say the wrong thing, you know, if I, if I say, like, the wrong... Uh, like, if they ask me, hey, what's this fraction? You know, if I say the wrong thing, don't cast me out. You know, don't cast me out into the warp. See how see what I did there? I, I know what the warp is. Hey, hey, I, pro I, hey, I told you. I, listen, I know a little something. Make sure you guys are new. And